Okay, let's talk about everyone's favorite topic, and of course, that's algebra word problems. So I know that you are just so excited to uh, take on some algebra word problems, so I'm going to help you out with your excitement by uh, giving you a nice word problem here you can work on and see if you can solve this. But if you are in an Algebra 1 level class, you absolutely need to know how to deal with word problems if you expect to pass. So this is actually not that difficult of a problem. Uh, let me read it to you real quick, and then you can work on it and put your answer uh, into the comment section. Of course, I'm going to go through it step by step. But uh, let's read the problem. So it says, Dave and Jeff are professional baseball pitchers and won 529 games together over the last decade. So uh, Dave won 99 more games than Jeff. How many games did each win? So that is the problem. Now, um, the way you want to approach this, I'm just going to give you very uh, general kind of guidelines right now, is whatever you do, make sure you can justify your uh, answer. So take out a piece of paper, you know, construct a solution such that if you gave it to a teacher, they can actually understand that you uh, know what you're doing and you can justify your answer. So if you want to go ahead and try that, I think that would be a, a good use of this video. But I'm going to get into exactly what we need to do here and how to solve this in just one second. But uh, first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I'm going to leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video. But uh, if you are struggling in mathematics, maybe you failed math before in the past, maybe you're taking an algebra course right now and struggling. But uh, I'm going to tell you right now, if you think you're bad at math, it that's not true. Okay, I have not personally met any bad math students, and I've been teaching math for decades. What I've met is students that are uh, frustrated. Okay, now it could be that you are having a difficult time with um, your teacher's teaching style. Maybe you don't feel like you're getting enough instruction. But if you're willing to put in the work, okay, if you have the right teacher, um, you will be successful. So I like to believe that I could help you out. I've been teaching for decades, and I really, uh, I like to think that I explain math more than I teach it. Okay, so if you're at the middle school, high school, or college level in terms of mathematics, you've got to check out my math help program. It could definitely help you out. Now, if you are uh, preparing for any test that has a math section on it, I'm talking about things like the GED, SAT, ACT, GRE, GMAT, ASVAB, ACCUPLACE, or CLEP exam, maybe a teacher certification exam, I can help you prepare and pass those exams. If you homeschool, you definitely have to check out my math help uh, program. We just uh, were ranked number one for middle and high school mathematics in homeschooling. So I've got, we have a really comprehensive homeschool uh, curriculum and programs, math programs for you. And uh, if you need some math notes, I'm going to leave links to my math notes in the description of this video as well. But if you want excellent grades in mathematics, you have to learn how to take excellent math notes. Okay, so let's get into this problem. Again, if you want to work on it, I think that's, uh, you know, a good thing. And pause the video and put your an uh, answers into the comment section. But let's talk about word problems in general. And let's just kind of list a few steps here. Okay, so what's the first thing we want to do? When we're tackling any word problem, well, you want to read it, okay? You're like, what? Read it? Okay, come on, please, Mr. YouTube Math Man, uh, tell me that I'm not watching this video for you to tell me to read a problem. Well, yes, I'm going to stress that, okay? So when you're tackling a problem, you just don't read it once and then start doing math. you got to read it and reread it and re uh, read it again. So you want to read it, and the whole idea behind reading it over and over Okay, so you read and read, is you want to identify the question. Okay, what is the question? Okay, so you read it. And in this particular case, the question here is uh, that little sentence before this little uh, question mark is how many games did uh, each win? Okay, so you want to read the question a few times, make sure you understand what the question is, and then that way you can kind of set, set up what you need to do. Okay, now we are talking about algebra and algebra word problems. So the next thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to assign uh, or assign variables. Okay, now I'm going to put assign, I'll just put this way, variables. Okay, so you're going to be like let x equals something. Now, depending on uh, the situation, you might have multiple variables involved, but you want to assign a variable. Okay, now the third thing you want to do, all right, 
And actually, this can go with number two or number three, is to create a model, okay, or a sketch. Um, this is also very, very helpful for, especially kind of geometry related word problems. Uh, in this particular uh, circumstance, uh, we won't actually have a model, but keep this in mind. Try to make a model. Uh, you can uh, sometimes you can make the model first, and then assign variables, or vice versa. Okay, so this is very, very important. All right, so what do we want to do after that? Well, what you want to do once we have a, a variable assigned is you want to take the information, all right, the info from the problem. And you're going to want to create an equation, okay? This is where we're going to hit pay dirt, okay? We're going to want to create an equation. So we got this variable. I got information in a problem. And you're going to want to set up a mathematical statement with an equal sign. So you're going to have to look and develop a relationship uh, between the information, okay? And it, it will be possible because uh, typically your teachers are going to give you a problem or you're not going to see a problem on a test that's not going to be solvable, okay? So you can be able to relate the information in an equation, generally an equation, sometimes an inequality, but most likely an equation. All right, so what's the next thing you're going to do? You're going to solve the equation, okay? And then the last thing you're going to do is you're going to make sure that you answer the question being asked. So sometimes students solve an equation and they're like, okay, I'm done. And they just give uh, the teacher the answer. Well, sometimes you have to take that solution to that equation and do a few additional things in order to actually answer the question or questions the uh, actual word problem is asking. Okay. All right. So if you want to write this down real quick and use it as a guideline, I will show you the problem one more time. Uh, so you can get, you know, maybe take a, take one last shot at doing this yourself. Let me erase all this. Okay, so I'm going to show you my solution. So if you don't want to see the solution just yet, go and pause the video, but let's get to it. Okay, so here we go. So I'm going to read it again. So we have Dave and Jeff, uh, the professional baseball uh, pitchers, and they won 529 games together. Okay, so obviously this is information I will be using in the problem. Uh, 529 uh, games together over the last decade. All right, so Dave won 99 more games than Jeff. How many games did each win? Okay, so I got to answer the final question. My answer has got to be uh, Dave won this many games and Jeff won this many games. All right, so this is going to be the bottom line. I'm not going to uh, finish the problem until I have answered this question. And now taking note of this, I'm kind of reading it again. Who won the most games out of both of them? Well, Dave won uh, more games than Jeff. So I got to keep that in mind. But I know together they won uh, 529 games. So, you know, thinking about this, I'm like, all right, I'm going to have to establish some variables. So how can we do this? Well, typically uh, for a problem like this, you want to... Um, uh, select one of the players, okay? So one of the uh, individuals. So we have Dave and Jeff. I'm going to use Jeff, okay? So I'm going to let the variable J, okay? So I'm going to let J, this is the assigning variable uh, part uh, here. So I'm going to let J equal the number of wins for Jeff, okay? So who won uh, more games? Dave won more games, okay? So Jeff won less games. So I'm going to let J equal the number of wins for Jeff, and how many um, games uh, did Dave win? Well, whatever amount of games that Jeff won, he won 99 more. Okay, so Dave right here won 99 more games than Jeff. So I'm going to uh, let J plus 99. Okay, so this is Jeff's wins plus 99. That's going to be equivalent to the number of wins for Dave. All right, so I'm letting J plus 99 equals the number of wins for Dave. So I have two expressions here. J alone is the uh, number of wins for Jeff. And then J plus 99, I can actually put this in parentheses if I like, that expression there represents the number of wins for Dave. Now in algebra, sometimes you can have multiple different variables, but here, um, because I'm comparing, um, relating uh, Dave and Jeff's games, I know that Dave won 99 more games than Jeff. So if I have Jeff's wins, I just tack on 99 and I have Dave's wins. Okay, so you don't have to use two separate variables here. So how do you, you know, kind of know how to set this up? Well, 
you know, you just got to practice this stuff, right? Like anything else, the more word problems you do, the better you're going to get. All right, so now uh, the next thing we want to do is to set up an equation, okay? So we're going to use the information from the, um, the problem, okay, to equate some things. And I got to involve the variables, and I got to create an equation. So here is uh, what we can do. So I know that Jeff and Dave's total wins over the last decade were 529. So whatever uh, number of games that uh, Jeff won, that was J, plus the, the number of games that Dave won, which is 99 more than Jeff's, so that's J plus 99, these two together I know are a total of 529. So this is our equation, okay? This is the equation, and now we want to be able to solve this equation. Now, if you don't know how to solve these basic equations, then you're going to want to go back and review, um, you know, obviously, uh, you're going to need to know how to solve the equations before you can tackle algebra word problems because it's kind of a prerequisite. So if you are, you know, struggling in basic equations, go back and review. Okay, you're not going to be able to do these word problems, so do whatever review you need to do. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and solve this equation here. J plus J plus 99 is equal to 529. So I have J plus J plus 99 equal to 529. Let me show you the work here. So I have like terms, J plus J is 2J plus 99 is equal to 529. So here I need to do what? I need to subtract 99 from both sides of the equation. I'm not showing all these steps here because I'm um, assuming that you know this, but when I subtract 99 from both sides of the equation, I'm left with 2J is equal to 430. And then lastly, to solve for J, I need to divide both, uh, both sides of the equation by 2, so 430 divided by 2 is 215. So J is equal to 215. So I solved the equation. So before we get too excited here, we need to ask ourselves, okay, what do we do? Do we just turn this in uh, on our paper and turn in our quiz or just move on to the next problem? No, we need to make sure we answer the question. And remember, the question is, how many did each, um, how many games did each player win? Okay. So remember, we established variables. We said, let J equal the number of wins for Jeff. Well, I just solved for J. So J is equal to 215. So uh, Jeff won 215 games, okay? So Jeff had 215 wins. So how about Dave? Well, Dave had 99 more than Jeff. So that was going to be J plus 99. Of course, we know that J now is equal to 215. Plus 99 is 314, so Dave won 314, okay, 314 games. And just to check, let's just go ahead and add these up. Their total wins, 215 plus uh, 314, is 529, just like the problem stated. They won 529 games. All right, so that is the uh, final answer. How did you do? Okay. Let me just go down here real quick because if you uh, were able to get this prom totally right, I'd, I would be remiss if I didn't give you a good old 1985. That's 1985, not 1958. A 1985 flat top haircut, an A plus 100%. And matter of fact, I'm going to give you a few extra stars so you have an extra special day. Nice job. Okay, so if you were able to do this all on your own and you um, actually uh, were able to justify your work in more or less uh, this kind of format, okay, if you're, you know, if I was grading your work, I could say, okay, uh, you're assigning some variables, you kind of uh, create an equation. In other words, I can read and understand how you got your solution. So if you just wrote a bunch of stuff and then gave me your answer, mm, that's not so good, even if you got the right answer. Remember, you got to justify your conclusions. You have to prove to your teacher you know what you're doing. But if you were able to do all of that, that's excellent, okay? So very, very good. And uh, I want to make sure you have an extra special uh, day because you're like, hey, you know, you're well on your way to uh, uh, excelling in algebra. Just remember, you know, the application of algebra is to solve word problems, okay, real life type of problems. Now, is this a real life problem? No, but, you know, real life problems involve words, okay, so word problems are you know, the real um, application of uh, algebra, and you're going to need to know how to do them. But the only way you're going to get better at this is for you to practice this stuff. It's not enough for you just to watch me do this problem. If you don't uh, practice 
uh, you're not going to get better at word prompts. So a couple suggestions. One, I have um, uh, more uh, videos, YouTube videos on word prompts on my uh, algebra playlist on my YouTube channel. Or maybe you want to sign up for one of my algebra courses and really master this stuff. But uh, if this little video helped you out, go ahead and help me out by smashing that like button. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, uh, please consider subscribing. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years, have over 8,000 plus math videos. Basic math all the way to advanced math like calculus and everything in between. So please take advantage of my content if you like my teaching style. But my best math help will always be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.